All right, guys, so I hope you had an awesome weekend or depending on where you are, you are still having an awesome weekend. Let's talk about selling prints. This is something that might interest uh, photographers in the room or aspiring photographers who want to sell prints. I'm going to tell you how I do it, how I print them, how I ship them, how everything about selling them. By the way, if you prefer reading, I'm going to be leaving a link down below in the description to my blog. I wrote a blog post a few days ago about this. I'm going to be sharing pretty much the same information. There is even a little bit more information over there in the blog. So yeah, if you prefer reading, just go over there. You can stop this video right now. Anyway, let's begin. I feel like we should start asking ourselves why do we want to sell prints? Of course, one of the reasons or the first reason that comes to mind is to make money. And that is a pretty obvious and very good point. But I think there is a deeper and more important, more meaningful uh, way to see it here. I believe, like many photographers, that images have a destiny or images are meant to be on paper. The process that begins with the shot in the field should end in a print on paper and not on a phone screen or a computer screen. And even more important than that is to know that someone really liked your image so much that they were actually willing to pay something for it and to hang it on their wall. And I think that's what most photographers are after, right? To create meaningful work for other people. This being said, I didn't make my first image until May of 2017, last year. It was pretty much a year ago. Um, this was the image. It's called St. John's Bridge. I made this image in Portland on a very rainy day. Lovely day, by the way. I miss those rainy days because it's too hot right now. But anyway, yeah, I had been waiting for a day like that one, like a foggy day where I could go and take a photo of the bridge without all the background, all the noise in the background. I loved the image when I saw it on my computer and I decided to make it my first printed print. So after doing a little bit of research, I found this little fine art printing place in Portland. I went there, I brought the print, I chose the paper, they printed the print and I absolutely loved it. It was love at first sight. I loved everything about it, the materials. It was the first time, you have to realize, it was my first time seeing one of my images on a very nice paper printed with a very high quality printer. And that's a side that if you take photos and you have never done anything like this, you should do it. It was then when I realized that I wanted to sell prints. And I actually sold that one a few copies. There was a little problem though. In a few months time, I would be moving out of Portland. If you've been following this channel, you might have realized about some videos that belong to a series called American Road Trip. That was a road trip that we took in October, November, December of last year. It was when we moved out of Portland. And that was an amazing experience and I want to repeat again. But being on the road meant that I wasn't going to be able to go to that fine art printing place in Portland, print the print, get it and ship it to someone. Finding places to print my prints along the way during the road trip wasn't going to work at all. Even if I was lucky enough to find fine art printing places in the middle of nowhere, what I think is not very likely, the results would be very, very different. Different printers, different ink, different papers, different people operating the computers. It would also mean that I would have less time to actually be out during the road trip making new images. Now, once the road trip was over, I lived for around four months in the Midwest, since the beginning of January to the beginning of May. And I knew that my time was limited there as well. I was going to move overseas in just four months. So finding a new place around there wasn't an option either because it was going to work for just three or four months and then I would have to find another place here. What did I do then? Well, I got a printer. I, it was $200, $250 Canon printer. It was relatively cheap, but it was supposed to create a nice, uh, real black and white pictures with real blacks and real whites. Uh, I bought the printer, I bought nice paper, I bought a lot of ink. In total, I believe that the investment was well over 400 bucks, maybe 450. So it's not a huge investment, but it was a considerable amount of money. The idea was if I was able to get night results with that printer, I could either bring it with me uh, overseas or buy another one here because it wasn't that expensive, 200, 250 bucks, but it didn't work at all. The results were very appalling. Uh, the images had a very strong color cast, either blue or sepia. And when I did get the real black and the real whites and the photos and the images, uh, the resolution wasn't there, the quality wasn't good. So once again, I gave up. 
Fast forward a few weeks, I'm in Spain. I had completely forgotten about selling my own prints. I thought that it would be impossible, something that I would never be able to do, to sell high quality prints from uh, wherever I was because I didn't have a permanent place, I didn't have a permanent home. And I thought that I needed either a place where I could just bring my images and print them or have a nice printer at home. But one day, reading something completely unrelated to this, I found out about dropshipping. Now, this might sound familiar to some of you, most of you might have already known about this, but I had no idea. And dropshipping was exactly what I needed. A company offering dropshipping would take care of both the printing and the shipping, leaving me only with the job of going out to the field, creating the image, editing the image, and then have it ready to upload to their website. It was really funny to see how after finding about dropshipping, I was seeing it everywhere. It's like when you're looking for that thing for hours and hours at home and you can't just find it and a few days it just shows up. So yeah, I found quite a few companies offering this kind of service. I decided to try a couple of these uh, companies to actually see what the, the, the prints look like before selling them to customers. And I have to say that the one that I'm using right now, it has really high quality and I love the prints and the frames. So how does this work for me? I have this thing called image of the month. Every month I release a new image and for that month is uh, being uh, sold at a reduced price. And after those 30 days, I increase the price. I've been doing this for just two months. So the first print has already seen uh, the price increase, the print from July. The print that I have right now for sale, the print from August is this one of Monoma Falls. If you like this image, if you want to have it on your wall, now it's the time because it's never going to be this cheap again. Anyway, what I do is uh, a month or a month and a half before releasing one of those uh, images of the month, I go to my local uh, printing place here. They don't have a printer as nice as the other place. The paper is not as nice, but it's kind of close. I bring them my image, the image that I have selected for that month, and I print it there. You see, it's necessary to see your image on paper because your phone or your computer can deceive you. So I print it there, I check that everything looks fine, that it prints well on paper, that it doesn't have any flaws or any dust or any anything. That is just perfect. After that, I go to the website of the company that does the dropshipping for me, and I upload this image, and I order a copy, a print, for me, for myself, the same way that I go for any customer. Since I'm in Spain and this company is in Texas, it takes some two weeks to get here, but it does get here eventually. This is why I order the print in advance, well ahead of the release date. And once again, I check that everything looks perfect, the, the invoice, the packaging, the print. I don't want to send something that it doesn't look good or that I don't like myself to a customer. That would be the last thing I, I would want to do. I'd rather not sell prints at all than selling shit, to be honest. Dropshipping doesn't only mean that that company is going to take care of the printing and the shipping of your product, but they also package the thing uh, the, the way you tell them to do. That means that the invoice is going to have your logo and your address and the, the, the box, uh, the, the, the box itself where the print comes package, it has your logo too. So it looks like you actually sent that and not them. This that you are seeing is the unboxing of uh, the last of winter. This was the first print that I sold uh, as part of uh, the image of the month series. It was the image of the month of uh, July. It was also the first time that I ordered a framed print from them. I chose this frame. I wanted a dark frame and I loved it. I love it. It's a very high quality compared to the ones that I'm using at the exhibition right now that they are from a very well-known uh, Swedish uh, furniture company that I'm not gonna name. Uh, this frame is really, really nice. Anyway, as you can see, it comes very well packaged. They do have an awesome job, much better than uh, what I could do. Uh, this is uh, what I like about drop shipping, that uh, I know that I don't have control 100% over the process and I would love to see every image uh, before it leaves the warehouse because I would love to see what the customers are getting. But I trust them. I trust that they are going to get what I got when I order the print from them. Uh, if I love what I get here at home, I know that I can expect the same quality to be delivered to the customers. And this one that you are seeing here is the unboxing of the second print, the image of the month of August. It's called A New Beginning, it's a photo of Murnoma Falls. 
and uh, this one is uh, as you can see a matted print these are the two finishes that i offer on my website for my images it's either framed or matted and i wanted to show you what they look like here in, in camera this is the second print i framed it now so i could take photos to put it on the website and promote it to because it, this is actually the the print that is on sale right now by the way if you want it this is the cheapest it's ever gonna be uh, on September 1st the price of this print is gonna increase and will never never be as cheap as it is right now but yeah the frame is very nice I really like it and the quality of the print is very high too let me show you I have here uh, the first print that I sold this is the last of winter and it's uh, the matted version here and the reason why I sell these two finishes only I don't sell the print by itself is because I want to sell a product uh, another thing that I do is I only sell this size is six by six inches and the mat is two inches on each side and the reason for that is because this is the way I see the image when I go out and create them I want a small print um, I'm sorry I don't want people like printing them like super big because that's not the way I see my images that's not the way I see my photography I don't mind if a snapshot that I take and I share on Twitter or I have an Unsplash account where I give my photos for free they, I have some color photos you can do whatever you want with those photos but these images this is my my work I really uh, care about it and I don't want to see it uh, in a way that I didn't mean it to. I'm gonna try to show you the paper uh, much closer, maybe with a different lens, but I love it the way the, the, the grain from the film looks on this texture paper. I absolutely love it and uh, it's something that uh, I know I'm very very happy with. Coming back to drop shipping, this was not only a self promotion, but I really wanted to show you that it's possible to create really high quality, or in my opinion, really high quality prints uh, using drop shipping. Now, like everything, drop shipping has uh, good things and bad things. So it's a compromise everything is a compromise for me by far the best thing about drop shipping is that i can sell my prints to anywhere and from anywhere in the world and that has already happened actually a few days ago i was in the field making images i got a notification on my phone of my prints uh, had sold uh, and i was able to actually fulfill that order from my phone right away and that is awesome because it frees so much time for you to to do other things like make new images once you print your image and you see it with your eyes and you like what you are seeing you have to trust those professionals at that company the drop shipping service that they are going to replicate the image exactly the way you want it to be every single time and that allows me to travel without worrying if i get a new order what am i gonna do even if i had a printer at home and i printed like you know a stock of uh, images to bring with me in the car like say five samples of each image just in case i get the orders i can bring them with me but i will have to bring also the the shipping supplies and the paper for the invoices and the stickers for the box and i will have to find the post office wherever i go that would be a big no-no for me this is the good stuff about drop shipping there is bad stuff too as i said before i don't get to see what is being sent to the customer and i don't really like that but after seeing the product in person after getting some very positive feedback from people who have already bought the print so it's not only me who thinks that the prints are high quality uh, I, re I really trust uh, these professionals uh, when it comes to do their job another downside of uh, drop shipping is the cost if you do it yourself at home uh, after buying the printer of course because that can be a very big investment they can get really expensive but once you have the printer every print is really cheap to produce and to create so if you sell a lot of prints uh, and you can afford to buy a printer and you have a home where to put it that's the best way to do it I could make more money if I did it myself but I just can't I just have to be in the move i i need to keep moving if i want to create new work and new images this is the way i work and this is the way i get my inspiration if you are struggling with how to sell your printed work uh, photographs or drawings whatever can be printed give drop shipping a try and that's all i had to say for today i really hope that this uh, helps someone out there and i just wanted to remind you before uh, letting you go that this is the image of the month uh, of august it's called a new beginning i took it uh, 
at Multnoma Falls. Um, you can watch the video of how I made this image. Uh, I'm gonna link it around here. And as I said, the current price is gonna be the lowest it's uh, ever gonna be. So if you want to have that image on your wall, now is the chance, uh, go ahead and, and get it. Last thing I wanted to say is I wanna send a huge thank you to everyone who has already bought a print from me. Your support means the world to me. It means that I can keep doing this for a little bit longer. I hope I can do it for the rest of my life. But for now, uh, your support, uh, it means that I can keep doing it for, for, uh, for a little bit longer. Thank you so much for watching once again and see you in the next one.